Hi! Welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. Today I am in Atami, Shizuoka Prefecture, and I'm right in front of the Nakamise and Heiwa Dori shopping arcades. So, this area is actually really known for its hot springs. So, it's a wonderful hot spring town. A lot of people come here to vacation, and this is a great place to go shopping for some street food. So, today I'm going to check out what kind of amazing street food they have here. A lot of it is hot spring themed or things you could only get in hot spring towns. So, let's go check it out. Shop. This is beautiful. They've got a little mill going around and it says it's onsen manju, which is actually hot spring steamed buns. Usually, manju have like red bean paste inside and they're like grilled or fried, but this one is steamed because it's hot spring. I think this is one of those things you have to get in a hot spring town. All right, I'm gonna get one of these. Koshiyan, onegaishimasu. So she said that this shop has actually been around since 1958. And a lot of the shops on this street have been around from, you know, around the 60s, probably even a little bit before that, like this shop. Okay, so let's take a look at this manju here. It looks so good, it's steaming hot. Oh, and it smells so good, it smells sweet. Let's give it a try. Itadakimasu! Mmm, mmm, that is so good. The inside is so creamy. You can actually choose between the smooth red bean paste and the whole red bean paste, but I like the smooth one and I think it is super creamy. The outside is a little bit chewy, but it's, it's very soft and almost bread-like. It's like a steamed bun, you know, like a barbecue pork bun a little bit. Mmm, that was really good and very traditional. So let's go see what else we can find on this street. Let's go. Oh, there's a senbei shop here. This looks really nice. It says, nure okaki, like a wet okaki. Okaki, I think, is a type of uh, rice cracker, but nure means wet, so it's gonna be not hard and crispy like most rice crackers are. And it's on a stick, which is so cool. Let's let's see what it looks like in person. Eto, kono amakuchi shoyu hitotsu kudasai. Hai, arigatouzaimasu. Ooh, here we go. I love it. It's on a stick. It looks kind of like grilled chicken. Wow, this is so interesting. But the thing about this one is since it's nude, it's not completely dried or like hardened. So it's still a little bit chewy really squishy. It maintains its mochi texture, but it's crispy on the outside. Let's try. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's really interesting if you think about it like eating mochi. It tastes like mochi. It's really chewy with a little bit of crispiness on the outside. They just like lightly grilled it outside. The taste is a little bit sweet. It's salty and sweet because it's a sweet soy sauce. And the inside is almost like candy-like and chewy. It's worth a try. Let's keep exploring, shall we? See what other delicious finds we can find. What have we got here? First of all, there's a giant apple. <laughs> but also, they have some really interesting rice crackers here. It looks like they have something pressed inside. I've never seen that before. So let's go inside and see if we can catch them making it. <gasps> wow, they have a lot of different flavors of rice cracker. They have fish, they have curry cheese rice cracker. There's a lot of variety here. But I've decided to get the kimmedai. It's a type of fish pressed into a rice cracker and takoyaki senbei, which is like octopus balls from Osaka and they're gonna put all those ingredients inside of a rice cracker. Oishiso! All right, so we have our fresh rice crackers. The first one is a kimmedai. This fish, which was flattened, like it was cut open like that originally, but it is perfectly flattened. It's like magic. Let's give it a taste. Itadakimasu! Mm. 
but this is really good. It's like a nice toasty cracker. Mmm, it's really nice. It would go really well with beer. This is the perfect place to drink a beer. They've got all kinds of beer, also some wine in the counter there, and also they got some sake. So this is a great place to eat raisin crackers and drink beer if you ever come by. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the outside part is just crispy. The part where the fish is, is like chewy. It's really good. If you don't mind a little bit of like fishy aftertaste, it's a really nice chewy texture. But we have one more to try here. So our second rice cracker today is the takoyaki rice cracker. Let's give it a try. It's almost like eating a pizza. Here we go. Oh, I really like that one. The sauce is amazing. Yeah, because of the sauce, it makes it all a little bit chewier, a little bit like mochi mochi. It's a little early for me to be drinking, but if I come here again, I'm definitely getting a beer to go with this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna finish eating my snack and then let's keep exploring. All right, so now I am on the Nakamisa shopping street and I found this wonderful little shop called Atami Butter An. And An means red bean paste. So it's these little wonderful loaves of bread with butter and red bean paste. And this is a wonderfully popular combination in Japan. And as you can see, it is very popular. So a lot of people are lining up. I'm gonna line up as well and then let's give it a try. <gasps> Yay, okay, so I've just got my Atami Butter An. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> Look at that, it's such a fluffy, adorably shaped little loaf of bread. This looks incredible. <gasps> and it's got quite a lot of weight to it too. Clearly there's a lot of red bean paste inside. And look at this beautifully shiny bread. The sides are nice and like fluffy and chewy. All right, there's nothing more we can do other than take a big bite. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It is filled to the brim with red bean paste and it's so buttery. It really does go well with a freshly baked bread. And look, it's so filled with butter, it actually is oozing out of the pack. I would say this is a really nice combination of a wonderful traditional Japanese sweet and Western baking. I think it's a wonderful fusion. If you ever have a chance, give this one a try. That's really good. Alrighty, I'm gonna keep munching on this and let's keep exploring, see what we can find. All right, here we are. So this is a fish cake shop that I've been wanting to try. So these are all fish cakes called humpen in Japanese. And as you can see, some of them are very unique. This is an Italian style and they have a bacon and spring onion one. So something that I've heard that is really popular is actually this shiitake mushroom. So it's like a round fish cake with a shiitake mushroom on top. So I think I'm gonna get one of those, but I'm just noticing this, it looks so good. It's called a QQ ball soft cream. So I'm assuming there's ice cream on the inside, but I have no idea what it is. So I'm gonna get one of these. And there's one more thing that looks super interesting. It is Dai Dai Pepper Soft Serve Ice Cream. So I think I might need to try that as well because spicy ice cream with pepper, I have to give it a try. Let's go check it out. Ooh, it looks like the Shiitake Fish Cake actually has won a food award. It says the Food Action Nippon Award 2018 for Shizuoka Prefecture. So it must be really good, I imagine. <laughs> I'm excited. All right, I've just got my ice cream, my pepper ice cream. As you can see, it is not black pepper. It's kind of similar to a yuzu kosho, which is a Japanese spicy condiment that uses yuzu citrus. So this is their dai dai kosho. I think it might be made with dai dai, which is also a citrus fruit. So it's similar to the Japanese yuzu kosho. I'm really interested to see what this tastes like. All right, let's give this a try. I'm a little scared. Um, this looks like vanilla soft serve with what appears to be kind of a spicy red paste. Wish me luck. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. That's a, this is a really 
unexpected flavor. It's really quite spicy. Nice spicy and salty paste. But I don't know if spicy and sweet is my favorite combo. <laughs> it might be a little too salty for my taste, but it's very interesting. Mm, I'm glad to give it a try. I have just got my freshly fried shiitake fish cake. <gasps> that looks really good. It smells really good too. Mm. Okay, let's give this a try. This looks amazing. It's steaming hot. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. Take a look at that fluffy, fluffy fish cake and that steaming hot shiitake mushroom. That is really nice. And the outside is lightly crisped because it's been deep fried. Really good. It's a nice snack for a really cold winter day like today. Okay, now it's time to try my QQ ball dessert. This is not what I thought it was gonna look like. The inside has these little balls that are hot. It seems like they've been fried. They look like little tiny donuts and there's a whole bunch of soft serve ice cream on top. This is the QQ ball. All right, let's see what it tastes like. QQ ball. Oh, oh, mm. oh, that's so mochi. Like it is so chewy. It has a really distinct Japanese dessert flavor with the red bean or white bean paste inside. And the outside is a nice crispy like fried donut. I think it's kind of like an un-donut, which is a red bean paste donut in Japanese. And it goes really nice with soft serve ice cream. All right, this is really yummy, but we have one last really fun spot that I want to check out. So I'm going to finish up this food and then let's head over there. Oh my gosh, here we are. So this is about a 10 minute walk from the Nakamise Dori shopping arcade. And this is basically a tiny little hot spring where you can cook your very own onsen tamago or hot spring eggs. Onsen tamago are traditional Japanese eggs which are usually soft boiled and they're slow cooked in hot springs or onsen. So basically this is a DIY uh, onsen tamago place and you can buy your very own eggs at the liquor store right across the street. So let's go get some eggs and make our very own onsen tamago. Here we are, let's buy some eggs. All right, I've got my eggs. So I've never actually made onsen tamago before, so I'm just gonna wing it. We might end up with a hard boiled egg. We'll see what happens. I'm just gonna, Whoa, it's so hot. Okay, there's a reason why you have the tongs apparently. Okay, don't put your hand in there. First time street side onsen tamago making. <laughs> this is very exciting. And we'll leave it in here for about seven minutes or so. Ta-da! I'm going to cool the egg in this little fountain of water next to the hot spring spot. Okay, it's pretty well done inside. I'm just peeling it right now on the side of the road. Ooh, it's hot, okay. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on it. So this is my very first roadside egg made in a roadside hot spring. Um, let's see what the inside looks like. Itadakimasu! Oh my god! That's a hard boiled egg. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get it a little bit more soft boiled. It's hard boiled. Could have done it, could have checked on it a little bit sooner. But it's okay, it's really good. Mmm. Mmm. That's great. It's a hard boiled egg. No complaints. This is not a traditional onsen tamago. Normally you want to slow cook them for a long time and they get like a custardy texture and you can eat them kind of with some broth. It's a little bit soupy. They're really delicious. Um, and that's the traditional onsen tamago. So this is not quite it, but it's still really fun. I would recommend this activity to anybody who comes to Atami. Because where else can you cook eggs on the side of the road in a hot spring? This is amazing. 
Atami is a really beautiful place and I'm so glad I got to come here today and try out all the delicious foods and check out all the little shops. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with me today. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in another video very soon. Bye!